this just goes to show um with just a couple switches of the parameters and uh just a little bit of a different element of switching the light around you can see just how different you can make your scene um in real time here what i can do is i can do something like change the change the effect of the height fog here so if i switch this around to something like a blue or a purple here if i take all these uh cloud uh materials here and i swap the material for something like that uh, i just swapped uh swapped it for a basic uh white and dark gray uh, cloud material instance here you can see it's still being affected with all the yellow because the lighting is still affecting it so if i take this out and then if i take the post process volume and decrease the orange influence you can see that all that red and orange has now left the uh, scene uh, which is kind of an interesting effect and now i can uh, switch the local color of the post process volume to something cooler and you can see here that we've essentially now created a very cool uh, color palette going on here i'm going to swing the spotlight around to something like yellow and then i'm going to bring in a directional light that you can see here uh, turn the local value down to one and we're back to kind of more of the overcast day that we were seeing uh, here. So let me uh, also go back to the, also, uh, let me switch this to movable just so we don't have to worry about um, that error saying that we need to build lighting or anything is showing up. Let me decrease the fog value here. Let's move down to like 0 0.1 or 0 0.05. And let me increase the fog scattering color to something blue like a nice uh, saturated blue like this. I can swing the light around so you get something close to this. Let me actually pick out these cloud uh, instant shapes. This might be a little bit better. There we go. And then the last thing you can see, the shadows are very dark. So let me go back down here and hit recapture on the skylight. And you'll see it'll bring back all the brightness that we brought back into the atmosphere. It's going to be uh, presented into that ambient cube map. So I might actually decrease this a little bit and just increase the coolness in the shadows. So you can see here how quickly we changed that around and completely changed the scene from one mood to the other there.